I think yeah. there there have been so many that it's hard to keep track of them all. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. uh, at this this year there are over 120 students in the class, so I have 31 wow. projects, which is of course <laughs> many too many, um, and they're very early <clears throat> this year. I think some of the most successful ones, uh, two of them come particularly to mind. One is a system that is called the Integrated Course Engine, and mm -hmm. it's used by essentially every undergraduate on campus to try and create a schedule of classes for the upcoming semester. It's a very mm -hmm. interactive Ajax-based website that lets you search for things like courses that are in a particular department or satisfy some kind of requirement or that fit a particular part of your schedule. And it just populates a web page very conveniently if you have courses that conflict with each, other, with each other, it shows them side by side. Mm -hmm. You can pick one of them, then the other one goes away. It's extremely flexible. And this was done by a group of five sophomores in the class four or five years ago, and then mm -hmm. refined by a student uh, as his senior project uh, a couple of years ago. And it is in continuous ongoing use. It's been supported by the local stu student government. Mm -hmm. And as I say, I honestly think there is no student on the campus who has not used it. Yeah. So, so that that's a clear-cut winner. Absolutely. The other one that comes to mind, I think, is a project that was probably one of the very first iPhone applications. It was done by Adam Ernst and several other folks mm -hmm. uh, in 2008 when the iPhone development environment had just appeared on the scene. And they built a system that made it possible to do uh, basically transit information, public transit information in big cities like New York or San Francisco. Um, and it would provide information on subway schedules, bus schedules, mm -hmm. ways to get to the airport or uh, locations downtown. And it did it all in a very, very convenient and graphically elegant way on an iPhone. Mm -hmm. um, and after they finished, did the project, which was a great project, uh, Adam went off and continued to work on that project. And he is, in fact, at this point, supporting it. It's his full-time job. And uh, mm -hmm. so he's doing very well with it and uh, it has expanded it to many more systems. So I think those two would stand out as just absolutely splendid, but almost all of them are really interesting and, and kind of is, intriguing. Is it the iPhone app which doesn't require internet connection, right, to kind of see the schedule system? That's correct. It does okay. not require uh, internet uh, yeah. access. Kind of it. So you can use it in places like the New York subway where there is no internet access uh, yeah. at the moment. and. So it's a good system. It's a great system. Very useful. And uh, I mean, what, some of the projects, uh, which at least I heard of, was the one developed in 2004. Uh, a like, couple months later, uh, after the after Facebook, but each of a, a group of students came with this independently. Uh, it was a pre it was a site. It was a social network built for Princeton students, and they show like the top. I think most social students on the first page, uh, with all this, uh, who built the biggest number of, I don't know, I mean, connections. Uh, and right. so it's it's really amazing how uh, a course uh, can really inspire people to build great things. Uh, yeah, I, I think it has nothing to do with me. It, it, I, you put the students in an environment where they have to do something and tell them they can do whatever they want. And mm -hmm. then they go off and do amazing things. It really is good. And the one you mentioned, yeah, it was called Ulink, if I remember correctly. Ulink. It was done by Michael Lee, who was at the time again a sophomore here, and he was very close to doing social networks at the same time that they were popular. And uh, if he were a different kind of person, perhaps he could have become Mark Zuckerberg. So yeah. Who knows? It was very great. cool. <clears throat>